everybody, Texas Stroke here, Lance's Performance Shop at LoneStarMopars.com and this video is a bit overdue, my apologies on that, things were hectic, I uh, traveled quite a bit over Christmas and New Year's, work's been insanely busy, but uh, we're finally getting around to this, this one goes back to the Cyber Monday Black Friday tool haul, the massive one, if I would have showcased everything in the detail I typically like to do, it would have been a ridiculously long video, uh, I made the decision to go ahead and just kind of scale it back a little bit and then make standalone videos on some of the products, this one included. Now, what this is, this is a collaboration between Deha and KC Tool, and uh, they put together what they thought was pretty much the ultimate set of screwdrivers. And of course, if you've got brand favorites, uh, if you prefer one handle over the other, uh, for example, I kind of like Deha's 3K series, which is actually a significantly cheaper screwdriver compared to the soft finish. Uh, some of you might prefer their soft finish and like something else precision style. That's kind of to be given uh, in terms of like tool people, right, or professionals. But if you're just talking about a standard set of screwdrivers, whether this is for a, you know, wedding gift, which I know that sounds stupid, but just bear with me. <laughs> or uh, if it's for, you know, your son's bought a new house. Uh, maybe your dad or your uncle is retiring and they're going to just, you know, tinker in their shop with their free time. Uh, whatever it might be, this is essentially, the more I've thought about it, really is kind of a perfect set of screwdrivers. And we'll expand on that here in just a second. It's an 11-piece set. Uh, we're going to get the pouch, which again, I'm not a huge fan of, but it is actually a good one. We'll see that in detail. Uh, we've got basically three Phillips. We've got two slotted. And then we've got six precision screwdrivers. And let's go ahead and take a look at that in greater detail here. So, as mentioned, it's... <laughs> If you exclude the fact, like some of you are like, man, I love the Weeha soft finish, it's my favorite. Or some of you are just like, well, nope, that's that's not for me. I would prefer Brand X for this and Vera for the Phillips with the laser tip etching. Just cast all that aside for a second and get outside of the realm of people that are passionate about this, bring stuff in to try it. Uh, you know, whether you use it daily at work or whether it's just a deal where you're a weekend warrior and you care about your tools. Just kind of think of this more in layman's terms, right? Uh, maybe your brother or your brother-in-law, your sister, I don't know the particulars, right? But let's just say they're a typical family, they've got electronics, they've got kids, they've got, you know, the mentality that, you know, if something breaks around the house, we can fix some of it and save money. That type of a scenario, this truly is pretty much a uh, <laughs> an ideal set of screwdrivers. So, uh, getting things started off here... This comes with it. This is the VHA pouch for the precision screwdrivers. It's Velcro closure, and of course, when you open it up, uh, you're actually going to have the fold down to kind of keep it in place. You've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so eight pockets, which is actually pretty nice. And this is one of the good ones. This is actually stitched. I'm not a seamstress or anything, but many times when you have a pouch included with tools, it sucks. Uh, tin snips, for example, it's like the second time you take the tool out and actually put it back where it belongs, the plastic tears, all right? Uh, chisels and punches are notorious for coming in really bad pouches. This is a good one. If you're all about throwing things in a bag, throwing them under the seat, whatever it might be, you can get by with this. And again, you kind of get a feel for how it works. Almost like a little wallet for your screwdrivers. And it comes in the really cool <laughs> sort of uh, German green, as I've started to call it. So other thing you're going to get if you are uh, a collector or something, this might be a big deal to you. This is a special sticker. This is not just KC Tool and I embedded a VHA one. This is a standalone sticker. Uh, so it's sort of a hybrid. It's got their concept with VHA. So you've sort of got like the you know, wrench going around the nut type of a thing, bolt head. But uh, that is worth noting because, again, I do know some people that, are, you know, care about that and it's the limited or special edition stuff makes them pull the trigger. But let's get started here and kind of run through the basics. So in your standard size screwdrivers, I say that because, I mean, they're not precision, you get five of them. You're going to wind up with three Phillips. You're going to get two slotted. And case in point... The number one screwdriver the majority of people are going to use is a number two Phillips, at least here in America. That's just a given. So you've got what is honestly uh, one of the nicest number two Phillips you can get. Again, the soft finish is fantastic. It doesn't pick up lint and debris, which this thing is filthy. Uh, you can see this nasty ring over here, which I think you can, yeah, my the tip of my finger got dirtier. <laughs> so that's like some crud from a magnet tool tray that I had sitting there for a little while. But uh, this is, 
your bread and butter of the set, right? And this is your number two Phillips. It's going to clock in at 100 millimeters, which we'll call that like roughly four inches, right? Your number one Phillips is going to be 80 millimeters long. We're going to call that like it's almost three and a quarter, I guess would be the closest between three and three and a quarter. Everything is sized in accordance, right? You're not going to have the same grip, you know, for number one as you would a two. Note the number three is significantly larger. Uh, the VHA tips are very, very good. Again, if you've never experienced them, I've always suggested people bring in something that they will use or something that they're in need of. Uh, but the soft grip, uh, this is probably VHA's most popular by a considerable margin. Again, if you've tried everything, certain applications, you might prefer a different style handle. Uh, you might be an odd duck like myself and actually prefer something cheaper <laughs> over this, uh, which again, the 3K line, man, it's not just the color scheme. It's just, it's perfect in my hand. This is pretty dadgum good too, though. And uh, this is the number three, which again, from time to time, you will find this still around the house. Uh, certain fence gates, latches, things like that. Uh, maybe like if you've got some... I don't know, cam screws and bigger furniture pieces type of a thing. That is sort of all that's coming to my mind right now. This is 150 millimeter, roughly six inches, we'll call it. And again, it's kind of size in accordance with what you would want and expect for each driver. Now, you could come in, and I mean, I've got eight inch blades on number twos. Uh, I've got really, you know, like four inch stuff on a number three. But just for the average person this is going to be sized pretty much ideally now in the slotted side my apologies this one's a little bit worn i've already had to use it uh, i like to showcase everything when it's brand new so you get a good impression of it uh, the flip side of that if i've used stuff i can kind of speak more towards how it felt how it performed uh, and this i was doing a weird job with but it did fantastic it was fishing plastic out of a very extension uh, you, can, you can find that video if you're interested. <laughs> so, this one right here is going to be a 4 millimeter. I feel like this is, uh, given that we have the precision, I think it was a good choice. And then, of course, the big bad boy up here, the 6.5 millimeter, uh, that's going to be, that one was a 100 millimeter handle, and then this one is a 150, so it's 6. And again, if you've ever used any VHA screwdrivers, they make fantastic tips. Now, let's go ahead and spin this around. So, keeping score so far, we've got a pouch, which let me know, are you a pouch person or are you not a pouch person? Uh, if you are a pouch person, is that strictly because it's a mobile thing, it's on the go, it's you know a mobile job site, you're a technician that travels, it goes in the bucket, the toolbox. Uh, is it just because, hey, that fits under my seat or in the dashboard better? And if you're not a pouch person, why is that? Is it because you like to have them at hand? Do you have some other preferred method of storage? And uh, you'll see kind of what I'm going with here in just a second. But we've got the two slotted. We've got the three Phillips, one, two, and three. And, of course, the soft finish, fantastic. I should also mention this before I forget. Each one of these, regardless of how these people might store these, whether it's a you know screwdriver stand, a rack, a bucket, a toolbox, you know, probably, let's be honest, most homeowners are going to have a toolbox or a drawer or something along those lines. If they are vertical, though, these are numbered. It's very easy to read. Let's grab the biggest one just to showcase that. This is our number three Phillips. And once again, if this was how it was stored in the toolbox, upright, whatever, uh, you're going to know what that is. Even if people have no clue what pH 3 is, they're going to be like, oh, you know, that's the big crossy one, right? And it gets the job done, and that's what's important. Now, coming in here, we're going to slide this stand up, which I've got temporarily mocked up in this manner. And uh, spoiler alert, you might be seeing something with this uh, eventually, as my free time allows. So, we got one, two, and three Phillips. We got four and six and a half millimeter slotted. Over here, though, we have six precision screwdrivers is going to be split down the middle we've got three slotted and three phillips now in terms of the phillips if i bring this up of course and this is where the you know writing is very very nice on the top end of the handle you're going to easily identify what it is uh, they do have their own kind of uh, part numbers as well but uh, you've got a zero a double zero and a triple zero here on the phillips side and coming over here to the uh, flat blade you got a 1.5, a 2, and a 2.5 millimeter, respectively. So, I read left to right, I don't know about you, so I typically am the type that likes to go ascending order, right? So we start at 1 and we go up to 8. In this case, I think there's 10 holes, actually, so 1 to 10, so on and so forth. But, uh, this is actually kind of cool, too. 
if you have Viaz, you know, Pico finish screwdrivers and you like them and you use them and you've had them and you've replaced them, whatever it might be, these will look familiar but slightly different. And that's because these are actually the updated version. And uh, that's kind of a cool selling point as well. For those of you that have, you know, some of this, but you're like, man, you know, this, this set's kind of a really good deal. I'm saving money over buying five of these individually type of a thing. And what we have here, we've kind of got, it's not knurled, of course, but it's got texture on the cap, right? Sort of uh, these raised panels. So you're going to be able to grab really well with that, sort of your pin pencil style. Uh, this one, again, is our smallest one, which is the 1.5. Again, my apologies. I've had to use it to fish plastic out of a Vera extension, uh, which this one, I'm telling you, it comes in real handy. But uh, you've got the black on red, right? Or the red on black, I should say. And then the other difference, for those of you that have their Pico finish already, is simply that this cap is larger. I think they changed something here as well, uh, but the cap is significantly larger. So that's cool because you can come in and, of course, you're able to spin freely there. So uh, works very well. But we've got that. And again, they're all sorted, numbered. Just to kind of give you an idea, this is 1.5. 2 will be in the middle and 2.5 on the end. Let's see if we can swing that up again. If this one looks dirty and black, it is because it was <laughs> basically fishing plastic. I hated doing it. I really did. Uh, but it was the one that fit through that stupid extension handle. And uh, it, like I said, uh, I typically like to use tools as they're intended to, but sometimes... Uh, you just got to make do with what you got to get something done, and uh, this one performed well. <laughs> so, now if you're sitting here and you're thinking, man, that's stupid, I'm never going to use those, I'm not into computers, stop and think a minute, okay? Uh, if you are a single dude, right, or a single lady, you probably got some pretty cool electronics, whether it's watches, TVs, uh, you know, stereo equipment, speaker connections, whatever you're into standard issue stuff around the house you're going to find a use for those same thing of course with the precision phillips stuff now when you start getting into having kids or having children nieces nephews uh, whatever it might be grandkids you're going to run into all kinds of stupid fasteners, right? And you want to come in and you're going to change batteries out on the latest and greatest little toy for Sally, and you grab your number two screwdriver, you're going to be sorely disappointed because it's not going to be a number two Phillips. It's going to be something ridiculously tiny uh, or a specialty type of a deal. Uh, typically, as long as it's a mainstream thing that's reasonably priced, it's, you know, you're going to get by with this. On occasion, they'll use some, like, freak job security fastener that'll just, you know make you really mad or give you more for people like us more reason to buy tools for everyone else extremely frustrated but the wide majority of stuff you come across little tiny battery packs whatever it might be this is going to have you covered whether you're doing a big repair on your fence you're working on appliances you're doing standard issue stuff uh, maybe a knob came off of a cabinet maybe you're replacing the knobs around the house uh, if you have to work on a smoke detect virtually any standard job that the average person that's willing to actually put forth effort to attempt to do themselves right that doesn't require a professional this set covers and that says a lot and the fact that you're covering it for 75 dollars is a big deal factor in that you're actually getting a good tool and that's where you start to have the real value here so the average person you probably have some number two screwdriver sitting around you probably don't have a number one or a number three uh, most people would probably have some slotted. What if you have the giant one? You're like, well, I'll just get this big one. Not going to catch very well. Might not even fit the screw head, right? <laughs> so there really is good value in this. And again, if you can somehow take yourself and your passion for tools or your understanding of them, if you just kind of put this in layman's terms, and again, you've probably got a relative, uh, whether it's a brother, a sister, you know, parents, whatever, just from the perspective of this is going to be their screwdriver set this gets them covered <laughs> and that's a very big deal like i said about sort of like the wedding registry sample might not be the coolest thing they get might not be their most desired might not have even been on the list but over time they're going to come back and they're going to be like hey Who's that guy that gave us these? You know, they, these things have turned out to be really handy. All those pots and pans, the stupid fancy, you know, shadow bar, all that stuff's going to be broken and gone, but these will still be around. 
And it's that point in time uh, that your friend and his wife or your friend and her husband are going to think, man, that guy nailed it. You know, we didn't even know we needed these, but he did. How about that foresight? It's going to be one of those types of things, in my opinion, right? <laughs> and uh, if you flip that around, and as I mentioned, maybe you've got, uh, you know, your kids are going through engineering school, or they're going to be a mechanic, or, you know, your daughter bought her first house. All of that ties in beautifully with this. And if somebody that is into tools, if we want to take that step further, let's say they have a soft finish, maybe they have the measure up and then they have a micro finish giant one. They're trying stuff out. This becomes a fantastic gift because they get a go-to set of screwdrivers that they can experience, enjoy, compare with what they've got, contrast. And if they hate it, they can use it as a beater set. You know, it kind of works for all kinds. But if you, again, can distance yourself from sort of like being super into tools and just look at it like, hey, this would be a pretty practical gift for so-and-so, this really is an ideal set of screwdrivers. Again, favorite brands aside, favorite tips, all that stuff. For the average person and what they will encounter across their lifetime, I feel like this legitimately covers everything, and it's this point in time we need to come in. We got zero, 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 and triple zero here. <laughs> Once again, going left to right with the little guy, and I realize that's like not doing a great job, but uh, the triple zero is the easiest one to see the details on. It's obviously the big guy right here. My thumb is uh, caressing for you. But as I mentioned, it's just a practical set of screwdrivers. Uh, if you were wanting to get into German tools or German screwdrivers or just a quality set of screwdrivers, I uh, know 75 seems like a lot, but you have to realize the crud you're getting at Walmart <laughs> is not going to last you. This is something that, you know, if you sit there and you've used it your whole life, it can be inherited by whoever and is still going to perform well. So, um, as I mentioned, if you can just kind of distance yourself briefly and look at it with that mindset of, hey, this would be a really good gift. You kind of kind of see where they were coming from, I think. So, uh, like I said, I got this significantly cheaper than retail, which is seventy-five dollars. If you were to purchase this right now, you'd be looking at seventy-five. Uh, what you get again, one, two, and three Phillips. You're going to get uh, one and a half, two, two and a half precision, zero, double zero, triple zero on your precision Phillips, and then down here you're going to have a four and a six and a half millimeter slotted. Uh, of course, you also get the pouch, which you know to each their own. Uh, personally, I think the ideal way to have your precision screwdrivers is in this manner, particularly with something as nice as the VHAs where they're all labeled. Now, if they were just strung out, you know, and you had no idea, you put one off, you know, in the wrong hole and everything goes to heck in a handbasket, then the pouch might come in. But if you've got a stand like this and they're labeled, I think that's the way to go. And again, uh, we've done several videos on this too, in fact. One for the standard and another updated here because of the magnets, which let's take the biggest one. We've got the slotted six and a half. Boom. On the other side, we've got our number three Phillips. Got to have a little fun, right? <laughs> so, uh, but once again, even if you're into this stuff, this is just a great set of tools. Uh, if you were someone like myself that you kind of eased into this, uh, I wouldn't say I really eased into it. I'm kind of going full tilt, but <laughs> just I got so pissed at you know bad screwdrivers. It kind of one thing led to another, and here I am, right? But um, if you kind of eased into this, and the Viha soft finish was your favorite, or you felt like it was the best bang for the buck, and you're looking to get a complete or a bigger, more expansive set, and you want to do so in your favorite handle style. This is your ticket. You know, you probably brought in a number two just like this. You've got a backup for it. You can throw it in the house, in the drawer, in the kitchen, whatever. And then you've got the full high quality set here that is in your favorite style. Uh, if you are on the fence, if you've never tried Viha Soft Finish, my recommendation to you would be to bring in one. Uh, whatever you're going to use the most frequently or you have a need for, bring that in, see how you like it. If that becomes your desired style, if you really, really enjoy using it, here you go. This is that good of a set. Now you can obviously go through Viha uh, or KC Tool and you can pick up complete sets. But this one, in terms of the comprehensiveness of it, I think you're set. Now when I say you can get complete sets from Viha, let's be real about that. 
you can get your Phillips, you can get your slotted, you can get like a five piece that would be one, two, and three Phillips, four and six and a half slotted. You could pick up a set of like five or six precision screwdrivers, you know, kind of like my Fila ones over there. But if you were to get like, say, a bigger set, you'd probably have a couple of sizes stuck on here, maybe an oddball length. Uh, and then right here, you'd probably stick in another two slotted, you know, kind of between four and six and a half. Uh, and then one bigger, possibly one smaller. But where you would have the other pieces come in, they would be the little stubbies, right? So if you don't know what we're talking about, it'd be something kind of along the lines of this guy. And those would be your multitude of pieces. But it's very rare that you see a set of screwdrivers, you know, in standard retail that is going to include your typical sizes and your precision stuff. And as I mentioned, as you go through life, uh, you know, whether you're trying to fix your car on the cheap, whether you've got some electronic that failed, you're attempting to repair your laptop, uh, whether you decide to build a computer, you get married, you have kids, you got a house, trying to fix something around your apartment. This set of screwdrivers, I feel like you have 95% of everything you would ever encounter covered. And keep in mind the weird triangle wing nuts and Japanese electronics and stuff. That's going to be an issue for everybody until you've you know covered that base. But for everyday life, everyday situations, I think this is the ticket, man. I really do. So, uh, as mentioned, if you have investigated these, it becomes a great option to complete your set. Uh, and again, this is kind of like uh, you could get by on a budget. You're not going full tilt and having crazy sizes and handles. And this would be something that would last you a lifetime. And you would have a very high quality set of screwdrivers to tackle whatever life may throw at you. But uh, that's just kind of how I'm going to leave it, man. <laughs> so, as mentioned, I think I got this for, I don't even know if it was fit. It was a really good deal. I wish I would have written the price down. My apologies on that. I've, I've slept a little bit since then, not a lot. But, uh, like I said, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, if this is something that you're like, man, I want that, but I can't justify 75 monitor it, check for tool of the day, wait for one of the big sales, right? Uh, Cyber Monday, for example, and you save a ton of money on that stuff if you can get by until that point in time. Well worth it, in my opinion. So I will leave it at that. If anyone else has picked up this set, let me know. Uh, how do you feel about the Viha soft finish? Is it your favorite? Do you like it? Do you prefer something else? Again, for me personally, it is great. I just happen, just so you know what I'm talking about here, <laughs> this guy right here, I know some of you, if you go color schemes, you're probably either red and black or blue and black, right? And uh, that would sway you one way or the other. I can't tell you why, and this is a cheaper, this is the, you know, this is kind of like we're stepping down from the SRT to the RT type of a thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I don't know why. I mean, I couldn't tell you. I'm very well aware this is more popular. I'm well aware that, you know, more people prefer that. I'm uh, very much aware that it's a significant... Uh, change in the price. I can't tell you why, but in my hand, this is perfect. And this is pretty dadgum good. Uh, but this, I absolutely love it. And as I mentioned, we're not going from a $7 screwdriver to a $20 screwdriver here. We're going from, you know, like an $11 down to a cheaper screwdriver that I happen to prefer. <laughs> so, uh, to each their own is the lesson to take from that. But I will say this, I don't think anyone uh, would complain about receiving this as a gift. And uh, that's kind of, again, how I view it. But if you are the person that's kind of done what I've done, you brought things in to test out, and this was your favorite or one of your favorites, this is a sweet deal. I don't know of any other set where you can get quality screwdrivers that span common sizes and include precision all in one package. So factor in your sticker. I haven't forgotten about you limited edition people. <laughs> and then of course the pouch and it's it's a very solid package. So I will leave it at that. Let me know your thoughts on this set if you feel it's comprehensive, what you would add, what you would take away. If you would like other brands to do this, maybe you're a big fan of Vera screwdrivers, right? And you've got their classic five-piece. Maybe you went in and bought the Red Bull. Maybe you got their five-piece precision screwdriver set. If Vera were to offer something along these lines, you know, like a 10-piece set that includes precision drivers, would you go that route? Same with Philo, Stalvilla, whatever, Klein, <laughs> Craftsman. Even with Craftsman, you don't, the set I wanted when I was a little kid, right, that included a little keychain tag, you know, you still never saw standard size screwdrivers with precision in the same package. 
So, uh, kudos to KC Tool and Viha. I think this is a very, very smart package. I hope they can market it well enough to kind of get it out there, let people know it exists, because otherwise, let's be honest, you're going to come in and you would buy these five screwdrivers and then you get like a precision set, essentially. Uh, so if you're aware that this bundle exists, I think this is a hot ticket. Uh, I think it's going to serve both of them quite well. Again, it is exclusive to KC Tool. And uh, as I mentioned, I genuinely believe for the average person, even kind of like a hobbyist enthusiast, this is a sweet freaking deal. And uh, it's going to be hard to top it in my opinion. But so... Uh, with that said, I'll quit rambling. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure that you follow along on Twitter, like us on Facebook. I'm trying to trying to get my mind out of saying circle on Google Plus, but you can find us on Instagram. LoneStarMopars.com is the website. For myself and this fantastic 11-piece set of screwdrivers, which does include the pouch for all you pouch fanatics out there. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you back here for more action from the shop.